Today's video is going to be on adding a combine for the harvest operation in the FieldView Cab app. First we're going to go to the Cab app, which is the white app in the lower right hand corner. I'll click there. On the main screen here, we're going to select equipment in the top center of the icons. And on here, we're going to go down to the very bottom where it says add new equipment to click on there. We're going to select a combine. We'll choose our combine make. So for today, we'll just do a John Deere. We'll do an S series combine and an S660. All right, we'll call it testing. And we'll click next to do the setups here. The nice part of what we have now is we should have the GPS offsets preloaded for an S660 as far as your front, your height, and your center. If for some reason you have a slightly different setup, you can go out there and still measure those different measurements, but this should get you in a good place to get started here on GPS offsets. Next we're going to go down to heads. So we've got some heads that I've already got loaded onto this account, but let's say we've got a new head to add. Again, we've tried to default to generally what the forward axle cutting edge is there, but if you have a different cutting edge, make sure that you would change that. Over here, we have either a row crop or platform. We've taken away this year having to define whether it's corn or wheat or anything like that since this generally is the two that we look at. So we'll look at a platform head today. We can decide how many swath sections that we want to have. So for a 40 foot platform head, we'll give it a unique name, we'll call it test. Um, for swath sections here, I generally like to use a swath section about every two foot um, in order to have it do shutoffs. So for a 40 foot, I'll put it about 20. And then your head width down there, and that's just calculating out. So for 40 feet, we take 40 foot times 12 inches. That gives us our 480 inches there. All right, so we're done now with that. And next, we're going to go under settings here. So for flow sensor leg, this normally is set at 14 to start. If you would have a leg where as you're coming into the end of the field, you see that it stops mapping early, that would tell you that your flow sensor leg is maybe a little bit too long. If it stops mapping late, where it doesn't look like you have all of that data put on the end, and you have jagged edges, you could take your flow sensor data down a little bit. Um, the easiest way to test for this is to start harvesting a crop and time till the point where you first see grain coming out of the clean grain elevator up at the top. But generally, if you start at 14, you'll be okay there. Finally, we can look at crop settings here. For corn, we've got our nominal weight. If you want to change your nominal moisture, some people like to go with 15.5, some people like to go 15. We give you the ability to tap there and change that. For right now, I'll leave that for defaults, and that's a pretty good place. So that is where we're looking at the settings um, on this page. Now we're going to come back out here. I'm going to click on home in the upper right hand corner and let's go out to the field. So now I'm connecting my drive into the socket there. If this is the first time that you've connected your drive, so I just plugged it in, you're going to want to go under settings and under settings here on the uh, third one down, you'll click on devices. Here I've got the drive where it's already got a check mark next to it because I've connected it to before. If I hadn't done that before, I could always click on pair new drive. My drive would show up here as a new drive that is out there. I would select it and we would connect that way. Since we do have it already connected here, we can click back to the home button. We can go under equipment. And now we can go down and we can find that combine that we just built, testing. It's the second one from the bottom. We're going to click set active, select yes. It will take a second or two here. And now we have testing as our active combine here. Again, we can go up to the home button in the corner. And now we can go to the map on the field here. So if we're pulling into a field and I was out in the field, it would ask if I want to activate the field where that combine's hanging out here. For today's example, I'll just select a field to make active. So we'll go with uh, 
dad's home west of home. This is a soybean field this year, so it's asking if I would like to make it active. I'll select yes. And now we're looking here, and just a couple things to point out on this page. Where it says head height, this is going to be our maximum head height for when it shuts off mapping. I'll link to a video in the notes that shows a really good example of how to set this up um, for your max harvesting height. Harvesting crop, right now it's soybeans. We have soybeans as the crop that was the layer underneath for planting, and it should automatically select that. If you pull into a field that doesn't have any data, you need to select and make sure that we have the right harvest crop going there. Finally, down in the lower left hand corner, if we click on where connected is, that will bring us back into our combine setup. So if we need to change something like the flow sensor delay, we've got an easy ability to do that. The last thing I want to point out is I'm going to remove the drive and I just wanted to show you quickly how to edit a field's yield data this year. So I've disconnected the drive. We're going to go back to this field, but we're going to pull up some different yield data that we have. So we'll go to Green Valley. We've got 2015 corn yield data here. And now I'm gonna click the more button. So of all my buttons in the upper right hand corner, I'm gonna click the lower left hand one. Click harvest summary for this field. And before where we had to adjust yield in different places, I can now just click tap to adjust yield data. If I need to change harvest as acres, wet weight, or moisture, I can easily do that. So let's say that the moisture should have averaged actually 16.5. I can click done, and it's going to recalculate that and all the points onto my field. We do leave your originals across the top in case you need to change that, but otherwise we make it really simple for you to edit any of the yield there. This concludes this video tutorial. If you need any additional assistance, please contact our support team at 888-924-7475 or email to support at climate.com.